Uh, I'm Bruce Kennedy. I work in the particle physics department here at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory. Uh, I'm a particle physicist. I work on the CMS experiment, which is one of the big experiments based at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Uh, the best part is when we start getting data and we can analyse that data and discover, we hope, new things. Uh, the worst part probably are the years of uh, hard work involved in actually getting an experiment to the point where you can turn it on and it starts running. It's important because really for the first time in human history we can start asking difficult questions about the really fundamental nature of, of the universe, the way matter works, and actually have a chance to answer those questions in a, in, in a way that we can defend and actually show measurements of the world that say this is how it is. And in the past, they've been essentially philosophical questions. You can have good ideas, but they weren't really solid answers. But now, for the first time, we're in reach of being able to have really good answers to questions that we've been asking for a long time. I think I would have to say probably um, Dirac, who is a, a famous scientist, at least in the scientific community, very little known to the public, but one of the best British scientists of the 20th, 20th century and one of the founding fathers of quantum mechanics. His work was so fundamental to the way we now see the, the world because he was not a person who sought publicity. In fact, he, he hated any kind of publicity. He, he was absolutely a brilliant man uh, and, as I say, almost unknown to the public, but a man who should be much better known. Study the subject, if it's physics, get a physics degree, understand what you're getting into. If you're still interested, the LHC will be running for years, there'll be new projects after that. There's never a shortage of work, there are new things to be discovered. Every time we answer a question, we find a new question. So come and join us, there's a lot to do.